Alright guys, hope you're well. So, 11 days ago, because uh, I posted a video yesterday, um, we started hipster chips, or chips that have been lacto-fermentated. Sure, why not? Lacto-fermentation. And, uh, well, basically it is now time to turn these potatoes that have been pickled using lacto-fermentation into chips and we're gonna eat them so if you haven't seen the part one video and well you want to I think it's up there oh yes like a boss so it has been just sitting upstairs has been a little bit colder but I've already done these ones before so I knew that it was gonna take a little bit of time to start if you live in a warm country it actually takes less time but I was actually pleasantly surprised because I used extra cabbage the more cabbage you use the more fermentation that is going to happen so uh off goes the lid and you will see that it is actually looking a little bit different than when we started it is now cloudy and oh a couple of air bubbles around the side we could brew it for longer but this is this is just the right amount of funk gonna be honest that's that's what we want so in goes my hand and let's pull the plate out and we have oh sort of a potatoey cabbage blend uh we don't we don't need that anymore we're going to be cooking chips so the cabbage i'm going to pull out some of the leaves as you can see they've changed slightly now in theory this is sauerkraut but uh oh slightly different type of cabbage it's more leafy still works just as well but we're not going to be frying these because well we don't need to fry these that's why we make sauerkraut we're after the chips so out this comes it's just easier to do it now so that should be oh no still got a couple of these things and here are the chips i mean they look pretty much exactly the same except these are nice and bendy Woo! looking good so I am going to take this lovely strainer and pour away all of our salty brown water. Ooh, it is still salty, but a little bit zingy. Whoa, that's nice. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to do that. So all of our chips have been drained. I haven't rinsed them off. Uh, there's, a, there's a nice amount of funk on it. And they're already sort of pre-salted. And because these are pickled, you can, in theory, eat them raw. Um, I can tell you it tastes better than a raw potato um, that hasn't been pickled. Hmm. It's got a kind of funky, sour, salty, little bit potatoey, and a, a little bit sort of fresh greens uh, that came from the cabbage. Not something I would want to eat a lot of, but uh, you could if you wanted to. Very health, uh, very healthy with uh, indigestible starches and all that healthy stuff. But well, that's not what we're here for. We're gonna deep fry them because uh, that's how we make chips, of course. So I have my pan. Now I don't own a deep fat fryer. You could do these in the oven if you wanted to, but. Uh, you know, these, these are hipster chips, they're really good for you, so therefore oil just makes them better. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going with. So I've got some sunflower oil. Use whatever oil you want. And just pour a liberal amount in. There we go. So all the oil goes well, but more oil is better. So let's just put this on, let this heat up. And uh, let's cook us some chips.
doesn't take that long to cook these chips uh, because they've already been pickled you could in theory eat them raw but we're, we're not going to do that we're frying them because we fry our chips so uh, they do come out a little bit less brown than you would normally expect chips to you can always tell when they're done they float on the surface so let's take out the grease covered little yummies there we go and i can turn this off so i only did a little portion because you know i'm cool and they're hot little portion i can always do more and yes i, I did actually use a uh, pasta thing it works and i have a whole bunch more of these things so I'm going to let these cool down for a second, or a minute, then we're going to eat some chips. Mwah. So I've let this cool down just for a second. Uh, I'm not a great fan of boiling hot food. As long as you tongue, then you can't taste anything. So let's try just one of these chips plain. I mean, oh, actually really quick to cook. It's pretty nice, actually. Considering I normally like my chips, really brown and crispy these are actually really nice they have an interesting flavor they don't need salt added to them almost as if we pickled these in salt they have a chip taste a little bit of a soft texture mm. kind of a a bit of a funk to them that's in an interesting way it's kind of a little bit cabbagey a little bit sour a bit salty and uh, I like vinegar on my chips. And since there's already salt, I'm just gonna put some vinegar. Now uh, it happens to also be homemade vinegar. I'm like a boss. So, uh, oh, they smell good now. These are actually really nice. If you like something that's a little bit different, these are something that you should probably give them a go it makes you feel like you're being all healthy because well it's lacto fermented okay it's deep fried so health benefits eh, not so much there but still really nice well, I'm going to enjoy these I don't see this load lasting very long mm. funky salty interesting um what am i going to say and these particular potatoes because where well, they are fermented it's supposed to be really good for you and like i said these almost taste a bit like a pickle though it is a potato so that lets it down but yeah if you were blind or blindfolded i should say and were given one of these it almost tastes like a cucumber, a starchy cucumber, but you can eat these and they are pretty pleasant, but uh, I still prefer these ones. Mm. I have to say, actually really tasty. So I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. Something else to add to your repertoire of strange. Don't forget to check out some of the other videos and uh, subscribe if you feel like it. Carry on brewing. Yeah. See you later, guys.